There's only one Texas, rich in natural beauty, wildlife, and cultural heritage. At TxDOT, we go beyond the road when building new bridges, repairing roadways, or designing safer intersections to take responsibility for the environment. TxDOT engineers, planners, and environmental staff balance a project's needs with the resources that are important to communities. Whether through the discovery of ancient artifacts or by taking innovative measures to protect the habitat of a rare animal species, we are stewards of our state's resources while promoting safe driving practices. Our work with conservation and preservation groups enriches the story of Texas. The 2019 Environmental Awards will recognize work that goes beyond the road. Here are the projects that highlight these efforts. El Paso's Lincoln Center is located in a park named El Corazon de El Paso and for many years was the heart of the Lincoln Park community. The building was constructed in 1915 as a school for Mexican-American and African-American children. When the school closed, the building served as a community center for events. However, through the years, time and disrepair took its toll. The city grew around it, and it sat empty under the busy I-10 interchange. Planning ahead for future mobility, TxDOT purchased the Lincoln Center. Due to maintenance and safety issues, TxDOT slated the Lincoln Center for demolition in 2013. When word got out to the public, the community rallied to save Lincoln Center. The group held rallies, protests, and even created a human chain around the building. TxDOT responded to their concerns and put the demolition on hold. As El Paso continued to grow, so did the demands on the interchange. Just two years later, in 2015, TxDOT identified the need to add a direct connection between I-10 and Loop 375, right where the Lincoln Center was located. The improvements would reduce congestion and improve travel time to and from the International Port of Entry. TxDOT knew it needed to work with the Lincoln Park neighborhood again before moving forward with the project. TxDOT met with hundreds of community leaders and stakeholders, whose feedback was crucial for the project's success. TxDOT reached out to the public through social media, newsletters, and interactive public meetings to get the public involved. The public expressed their concerns over air quality, as well as safety for residents who still walk to get to their destinations. They also fought to save cherished artistic murals on the columns of the current bridge. TxDOT's El Paso district responded, large trucks will no longer be able to access the road from the neighborhood. This increases safety and decreases pollution from idling trucks. TxDOT also redesigned the bridges to keep the Lincoln Center for future events. Finally, TxDOT plans to make columns of the new bridge available for more murals and public art. Through innovative and proactive outreach to the community and by prioritizing the public's feedback, the I-10 Connect project shows that TxDOT can achieve environmental successes. Texas has more than 50,000 bridges across the state. Some are beloved by residents for their history. The Rio Hondo Bridge is the last vertical lift bridge carrying vehicles in Texas that is still operating. It crosses the Arroyo, Colorado, using technology that was innovative at the time to connect the cities of Rio Hondo and Harlingen. TxDOT's Far District restored the historic bridge in 2018, keeping the bridge in place safely for future generations of travelers. The Arroyo, Colorado is an 89-mile waterway that has only two prominent locations to cross. Since the early settlement of Texas in the 1700s, people established towns along the stream. This stream was the lifeline for many communities, but crossing it proved difficult. After many makeshift wooden bridges failed, the Rio Hondo lift bridge was opened in 1953. In addition to restoration of the bridge, this project included the beautification of downtown Rio Hondo. TxDOT planted trees, rebuilt sidewalks, and added streetlights to promote heritage tourism. TxDOT also moved the Arroyo Colorado Lift Bridge historical marker to the future location of a hike and bike trail. To protect the animals in the area, engineers in Cameron County built wildlife benches of three-foot flat soil under the bridge on each side. The project presented a few challenges. The bridge was covered in lead paint, but TxDOT engineers worked together to safely repaint the bridge. During the downtown beautification, engineers unexpectedly found a ghost tank and immediately worked with the Far District officials to safely remove it. During construction, TxDOT found and relocated a Mexican honey wasp nest in order to protect this pollinator species. 
The reconstruction of the Rio Hondo Bridge did much more than preserve a piece of history. The bridge stands as an example of how TxDOT engineers and environmental staff went above and beyond to be good stewards of the natural and cultural environment of Rio Hondo. The Dallas Zoo Noise Walls Project is a small piece of the 11-mile Southern Gateway Project in Dallas County. The zoo was a major stakeholder in the Southern Gateway Project. The Dallas Zoo is the city's largest and oldest zoo. Over one million people visit it every year and it provides over 3,000 jobs. Because of its location near the construction, zoo staff were concerned about the level of dust and noise coming from the site. Like people, noise can have a detrimental effect on animals. The noise can cause stress and result in hearing loss, increased heart rates, and even increased risk of death. Currently, a koala is on loan from the Australian government. With another country's animal at risk, in addition to concerns for visitors and other species, the staff decided that the zoo needed some protection from construction noise. Zoo staff met with TxDOT regularly to develop a plan to minimize noise. The Dallas District Biology subject matter expert worked with the TxDOT Division Natural Resource Management Office to find an immediate solution. They determined that temporary walls can be built as long as they transmit and reduce sound to protect the animals. The temporary sound walls are made of acoustical blankets that are designed to block and absorb sound. These walls are clamped on a steel frame and protect the animals from dust and loud noises. TxDOT will implement a more permanent solution in 2021. Until then, the Dallas Zoo Noise Walls Project protects the visitors and animals. TxDOT and its Dallas district worked proactively beyond the road by collaborating with the community and zoo staff to maintain the environment at the 131-year-old zoo for all of its inhabitants. These stories and more can be found at www.txdot.gov, keyword, beyond the road.